You know, you shouldn't have done this on national TV, man. You just shouldn't have. We got married that on national TV. That was a low TV. blow. I'm just, I'm just being yeah, honest. Marriage is I'm a just happy being event. Honest. Look at her. Does she look I'm very happy? I'm just being happy? honest. I'm just being Don't honest. Don't pick on my Mike. Time. This God is take time. it into your business. Don't and pick on And you're a Judas, man. 90 Day the Single Life came to a dramatic conclusion at the final tell-all. The drama continued with Natalie. Josh and Mike were both asked about how they felt about Natalie asking Mike if he would have a kid with her earlier in the season. Uh, I was shocked after, yeah, after everything. I was just shocked because we're absolutely not together. Why, why am I going to donate my sperm knowing that I have a kid with her and we're not together? Like, uh, that's not what I wanted. I've always just wanted a family. Natalie, were you shocked by Mike's answer? Mike is my connection between my world and U.S. And I cannot break this connection. I, I, I can't. Josh, what was your reaction to seeing that clip? <sighs> I, I think that she just needs to really figure out what she wants because I still don't even know what that is. I, I don't. Natalie broke down in tears sharing about how it feels to see them both at the reunion and how she feels like she's the problem. What is it like seeing Mike and Josh Don't in the same Don't you see the same again? patterns? Like, it's obviously a problem with me. Second guy, second I, I don't know. I'm the problem. That's not true. Two relationship, both I cannot figure it, like, it's okay. What can I say? Do you see any progress? No, I don't. Then Mike made the shocking confession that he's been in a long-term relationship and said that he started the divorce process with Natalie. How long has this been going on, Mike? We've been talking for a year and dating for six months. Oh, wow. Okay. So is this somebody who is very serious? Yes. What can you tell us? Yeah. Uh, we've been seeing each other for a good year now, since last December. Uh-huh. Uh, she's great. I absolutely love and adore her. She just cares about me and wants to be with me for who I am. And I just feel really appreciated and loved by her. So, I mean. So, Mike, you and Natalie are still married. Have you started the divorce process? I, uh, yeah, I have. And in an even more shocking moment, he had Colt's mom, Debbie, serve Natalie with divorce papers. Debbie? Hey, Debbie? I know. What is that? Dear divorce papers. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. Mike, why did you give those papers to Debbie? Because I needed someone to serve her. You could not hand them Can't to Can't serve her them myself, no. Um, so, Mike, when did you have these papers drawn up? Two weeks ago. Oh, I'm going to sign. You got 90 days to respond. You don't you have don't to have sign. You don't have to sign it right just now. Just 90 days. End, unless you just want to end it. Just wait. Natalie broke down in tears and asked Mike if the divorce would affect how he helped bring her mom to the States. He brought my mom. Did you the fake mom? No. <laughs> this no. was extremely cruel. It will not affect your mom in any way, Natalie. Your mom, your mom is fine. You could have done this privately. Debbie, you say that, but I personally think it coming from Mama Debbie is probably a lot nicer than a sheriff coming and knocking on her door. No, I'm saying that this is cruel for Mike to wait to this moment on TV to serve her after she's been traumatized by this guy she slept with last night. <laughs> Oh, no, Josh. Yeah, it's funny to you, but look at her. Miss Debbie had Natalie's back and got mad at Mama Debbie for agreeing to be a part of the situation. Oh, just get real. You know, I it's am like, real. That's cruelty. Look at her. Does she look She's at She's my friend, and she knows I didn't do it. anything. I'm sorry, that's Natalie. You know I love She's you, got and you were my friends. best friend. The guy she sleeps with last night, her friend that calls her a charity case. Oh, she's sure. got her ex-husband oh. that didn't, breaks didn't her heart that. on national sure enough, TV. You didn't know about and then it. she's got Debbie, you know, oh, Mama Debbie. That didn't look very damn motherly to me, honey.
Natalie emotionally explained how she was feeling, saying that she doesn't want a divorce. First of all, I told him I will not divorce him. He made his choice. He brought me papers. I don't know what to say. I don't want divorce. I can't because I left Ukraine. I had one world. Now I don't have this world. And he was this connection between my country and U.S. And everything that came after it connected to him. If I break this, like, what, what I'm getting into myself. And as for where things stand with her and Josh, it sounds like things are still up in the air. Don't think about the negatives. This year's going to be great for you, okay? We're going to make sure of that. Okay. Hey, I'll see you for dinner. What's next for me and Natalie is uh, um, dinner. We'll go from there. Natalie had an ally in Tim who said that he doesn't think she needs to change who she is for a man. Don't change yourself too much because you keep meeting these different guys and they each want a different type of woman. Yeah. And I hope you realize that like you, you're you fine the way you are. Don't put up with any shit. You're beautiful. Any man will love to have you. And don't think that like these men can run all over you because try, look at yeah, the rest I, of the world. No, nobody looks like you. Come on, you're, you're exotic. You're a beautiful, tall, blonde. Your support, it's good. Thank you so much. Natalie isn't sure if Josh wants to get serious with her, but she's open to the idea of being with him. Josh now is still like asking me to talk uh, privately and go for dinner. And I, of course, I like, I consider it because I feel like uh, cutting off Josh now, it's like crazy because I got divorce papers from Mike. And I'm, that's it. If I'm without Josh, what I do? I do have feelings for him. But, you know, like, I don't feel like he's serious as me. But I want to be loved. Imagine, I do want to be loved. Like, everybody deserves love. My life is a mess. I need to figure out my life myself. And I need to keep going. I'm 39. Do you understand? I don't have this time. And it's been, I already have been given so much time for nothing. And if I want like a relationship and family and child, I, I still hope. I'm getting old, but I think I deserve it. I, I want to give the chance to me.